Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Hunter and I am the field CTO at Ninja One. Today we'll be looking at operating system and software application patch management on the Ninja One platform. The main dashboard shows the overall status of the health of your Ninja One environment, and these two lines in the device health tile give a quick, at a glance view of two important pieces of information if there are any failed patches, and if there are any pending patches that require approval before being deployed. Managing these patches is easily done via the patching tab at the top of the dashboard. For operating system patches, there is a dedicated operating system patching dashboard. This displays a variety of patching metrics that show key information, like devices with outstanding patches, the devices with many outstanding patches, and in the middle of the screen, a tile where failed patches and pending patches that require approval can be found. We can click through to see the reason a patch failed, or in the case of pending patches, click through to see the patches that require approval and either approve or reject them. When approving operating system patches, the dashboard provides insight into the CVSS score of the patch as well as the CVEs that the patch is addressing. We can see the patch age and also read up on the patch notes for more information. Back at the patching tab for software patching, there's access to the same pending, approved, rejected, and failed workflow that we just saw for operating system patching. How does this get set up? Within Ninja One, common settings are managed by a device's policy. A policy includes conditions that generate alerts, scheduled automations, deployment of integrated antivirus, and of course our primary topic for today, patching settings for both operating systems and third-party applications. Let's look at how operating system patch management is configured inside of an individual policy. The process is based on two distinct schedules, the scan schedule, which identifies outstanding patches, and the update schedule, which does the heavy lifting of downloading and installing whichever patches have been approved. Patches can be either pre-approved for deployment on the next update schedule or time delayed up to 30 days to allow a grace period before installing. Certain categories, like optional patches, are typically pre-rejected to ensure they are not mistakenly installed. Patches like drivers and feature updates can be set to require a manual level of approval from a technician before deployment, which we saw earlier on the dashboard. After the update schedule installs the patches, a reboot will typically be required. Ninja One will place an indicator on each device that requires a reboot, but the reboot options can help facilitate this by prompting the end user to reboot if they are logged in, or rebooting at a specific time if users are logged out. If we navigate to the software menu on the left, we can separately configure the settings for software application patching, and the overall workflow is almost identical to what we saw with operating system patching. There is an additional tab where the software you wish to be patched can be selected. In addition to selecting software and setting patch approval settings, there's also an option to install the full version of the application if it's missing. Note that this is not possible with every application, but there are separate ways to install applications, as long as you have the installer. This has been a high-level overview of patch management via the Ninja One platform, but there's always more to talk about. If you have questions or just want to talk, please reach out. Take care.